Those who control the media control the masses. It's no coincidence that pornography is free and the topic of sex is in every song, movie, TV show, video game, commercial, and the list goes on. The goal is to remove the family unit, invert sexuality, remove the innocence from children, demasculinize men, and masculinize women. All done with sex magic, the most powerful energy in the universe. Share this lesson with a friend, and remember, if something is free, you are the product. scale but this is the real reason why I don't show my face I look see see I got real Illuminati bloodline turn the camera on hold up now watch this see that I gotta keep my identity hidden, man. Fuck you, then they gonna look, they see me with this shit. I'm gonna kill my ass. <laughs> At this point, I'm not like that. I'm not gonna like. Don't do it. Oh, sorry. Excuse my French. I'm so <laughs> bad. I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna text this to Heidi. Hey, don't, don't do it. Why? Don't do it. <laughs> What's your problem, man? You said be done. <laughs> Wait, wait, be careful. <laughs> oh my god, you actually- Woohoo! What's the point of music? What's the point of music? Niggas don't know. It's not always to have fun. It's not always to have fun. Sometimes it's to help people find themselves because music is frequency programming. Music is frequency. What fre frequency are you being fed? I will hope I will hope a motherfucker before they go pull some negative shit out this conversation. They go pull they pull this part this part of the conversation and then see that I'm really, really actually helping people, bro. I'm got like let me let me let me let me let me let me be detailed. At 15 years old, I was doing um sound engineering. So I was playing with frequency, I was playing with equalizers. Now, I think I think it's a a a, a uh, it's not a sonar wave, it's or it's a, I forgot it's like an alpha wave or a sonar wave or something like that. I basically I figured I figured out that hertz is to understand the frequency vibration, right? So there's kilohertz. Well sorry, there's hertz, kilohertz, megahertz. Right? And then there's I think it's ultra hertz. If I play with those frequencies, right, I can target certain parts of the mind, target the frequency to go to certain parts of the mind. And I can literally, like, if I want you to astral project, right? You know what astral projection is? No. If I want you to ask, if I want you to astral project, or if I want you to go to sleep, or if I want you to go into a meditative state, I can make my music do that. These little niggas out here don't give a fuck enough to go into that science, bro. These little niggas ain't studying kilohertz, megahertz, and doing all this shit. These little niggas don't know how to equalize, compress, and do all this shit. And the ones that do, okay, maybe you, maybe your music not good enough to to where it got to where, or maybe you not real enough. Maybe your goal is not good enough. Sorry. There's some people out here that do do that. You know what I'm saying? That do work. But maybe you ain't putting in ambition. Maybe you ain't saying the right shit. Maybe you not you. Maybe you trying to sound like somebody else. Because I ain't, bro. It's a blessing. Hell yeah. But I, bro, I worked. I worked, bro. You could ask anybody around me, nigga. I, I worked, bro. My mom will tell you. I've been doing this shit. Right now. They're eating like a flock of birds. 
Then what do you guys think that is? They may be the next stage in human evolution. What's happening now is more than temporary anarchy. I think it's the start of a war. Once upon a time, there was a civilization that was far superior and more sophisticated than we could ever imagine. This civilization was systematically destroyed and hidden from our history books. This civilization used atmospheric energy to obtain electricity. Having free energy meant that humanity could focus on more serious endeavors such as creation, creativity, love and self-development. We see these same geometric, beautiful buildings all over the world from Africa to China to Japan to South America to Europe. These buildings show us that we lived in an interconnected culture, a culture that understood the deeper levels of existence and how to harness electromagnetic energy. History is a lie and a story built by our oppressors to continue to keep us enslaved. But we will rise again. Most people in the hood are vibrating on the same frequency. Most of the people listen to the same type of energy, uh, excuse me, music, dress the same, eat the same type of food, watch the same TV shows, watch the same movies, frequent the same places, go to the same clubs, drink the same type of alcohol, smoke the same type of weed, right? There is a contrived form of consciousness in that environment and everybody is pretty much in alignment with that frequency and people who elevate beyond that frequency have to move out of those environments they can't tolerate it they can't stand it anymore whatever it is that you focus on the most is what's actually creating your world Here's something school never taught you. Electromagnetic fields are everywhere, otherwise known as vibes. Chakras. Third eye. Remote viewing. Everything we can sense is informed by our EMF, but we only perceive light and sound with our assistance. There is a reality outside of our perception. The fourth and fifth dimension. Our souls operate on the fifth dimension. Technology disrupts our electromagnetic field. There are only two planets without an EMF. For a good reason. Our DNA holds a message. I went into one of the oldest and most mysterious spiritual texts, the Sefer Yitzhak, and it's only been translated into English once. Every single alphabet that has ever been known to exist has always had a mysterious number linked to the letter that it represents. When I took the ancient alphabets and I replaced the elements of the DNA with those alphabets, the DNA began to read as you read letters in a sentence in the page upon a book. When we replace those letters with a periodic table and we begin reading the text, the very first sentence, and every strand of DNA literally says the words, God eternal within the body. <laughs> 